Which ones? Those right here. I thought it was sunny outside. You never know, dude. I mean, that's what I see. You can wear mine. What's up? Anyways. So, oh, sorry. I to you. <coughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Okay. Anyways, what's up, guys? Uh, finally going E85 today. Uh, I've been what slacking. Yeah, big time. Kind of late to the party, but okay. anyways, it's never too late to go E85. So, right now we're gonna head to where is it? Chick Fil A, huh? Oh, yeah, so it's about an hour drive, especially with traffic. Right now it's 8.30 a.m., so we're gonna hit a lot of traffic. Traffic. We're dropping off the car, we're dropping off the TC today, and then we're gonna have it, I'm gonna have video it tomorrow for the tuning. And uh, we'll be running E85 tomorrow, hopefully. If everything goes well. Today we're just installing injectors and fuel pump, that's it. But as of tomorrow, we're supposed to be tuning. If everything, if everything goes good, then it should be fine, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys there. Ooh, do you guys remember this place? Pretty sure you do. It's a bunch of Subarus and Evos and stuff in that Corvette. Anyways, so I just dropped off the car. Um, so like I said before, they're gonna be installing the fuel pumps and injectors all just today. And then tomorrow, which I'm gonna come back, it's not gonna be a separate video, but uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna get some videos of the dyno, dyno tune, and then um, we should go from there. My tuner is, is telling me that I should be pushing uh, probably possibly 20 more horsepower, if not maybe 10, 15. But anyways, I mean, going to five is still pretty good. Uh, but still, anyways. Look at this. All right, so we made it back. Uh, I had my dad drop me off. Uh, but we made it back. The next day, they installed the fuel pump and the new injectors. Uh, everything went well, a bit of complications, but uh, so far, everything's going good so far. Uh, right now, we're here. The car's getting tuned. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell. Um, and then I'll do a couple pulls on, on, the, on the way back home and see how it feels. I'm trying to push 20 more horsepower, but um, uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably the least, maybe 10 or 15, but like I said, we'll see how it goes. So my tuner just did the first pull with just E85 only and we got 20 more horsepower out of it just with E85 he hasn't even messed with the VVI timing uh, VVI TI VV, VVTI timing or anything like that we're definitely hitting 200 uh, and we're hoping to push at least 20 plus horsepower uh, but like I said uh, everything is going as planned uh, making good power, especially with just E85 only. Um, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated with how it goes and I'll show you guys the stats. So after editing the video, I realized that I did not explain what had happened afterwards. I stopped recording after what had happened, which was we were not able to tune the car because, so the ECU had lost connection towards the transmission. So the gears weren't able, so the car wasn't, wasn't able to switch gears. So, with that being the case, I had to take it to Toyota to reset the ECU in order for the, in order for the ECU could communicate with the transmission. I went ahead and took it to Toyota, and I got it all reset. I drove it back home, and it drove perfectly fine. So, with that being the case, on the twentieth on the twentieth of this month, which is March, I will be tuning the car finally. So, with that being the case, I could be pushing around possibly more than 200 at this point after the tune. So sorry for the short video, but with that being said, I will end it up right here and I hope to see you guys next time.